All right, guys, so we just finished post-construction cleanup. Got the driveway all rinsed down. We rinsed the house down. We rinsed all the pavers down. So that is a wrap for us as of right now. Uh, if things dry out enough on the grass or on the uh, lawn there, we'll come in and rock hound and add some soil and seed it and straw it. But right now it's just too wet, so we just did the rough grade. So this is what we're ending up with here. We've already done a video of the front being completed. We did add a gravel band around the front and a couple of gravel beds. We wanted that for uh, maintenance reasons. And then we'll put a nice clean edge on this right here when we come in and do the soil. So like I said, we did soak down the house, rinse that all off, and then coming around here, we did the same thing. We did a gravel strip along the side. Here's our electrical hub. We have four of those scattered throughout. That's your access point for all the low voltage lighting. We've got the gravel all the way around the back side here, including on the inside here. They chose to go with a rectangular fire pit, so we were able to build that out the other day and get that wrapped up. We also have the kitchen area over here wrapped up as well. That's what the green egg used to be in. Now it'll be sitting on top of this tomato drawer. Just rinse that garbage can. We'll go ahead and put that back in here. That's what we're that's what we're looking at for the kitchen. Uh, they'll have a granite guy come in and do the counter. But it's all ground down, nice and flush and level. And then that's again our wood storage. Pizza oven will go on top of that once counter's done. And then a roof, a uh, pavilion will go over top of that. We've got the sitting wall fixed up over here. That's all glued together. And it's got one light in the center of that. And we got all of our electrical buried on the outside here. We have all of our cleanouts. We have three of those cleanouts on this backside. Got about three inches of rain overnight uh, this last weekend, and uh, everything worked out as designed. So very happy about all that. So there we go. So once the counter is in, uh, that's going in probably around Thanksgiving time. We'll do an update on that, and uh, and then again once the uh, roof goes in. So there you go. So if you're wondering what we use for this project, it is a limestone quarry blend color from Cambridge. And it's a Ledgestone XL smooth paver for the inside here. This outside is the, uh, let's see, that's a six by nine coal color. That's the Kings Court collection that they have. And then for the caps, for the stoops, and the steps, we used a black Chinese imported sandstone. So that's the black that you see there on the cap. And then the stoop block, as well as the kitchen block, is all Cambridge Old English wall, Onyx natural color. So, went together very well, complements the house. Overall, I'm pleased with it. All right, so I'm back doing a final visit for this project. Looks like countertops are installed. It looks nice. Looks like it was seamed right here. Sink is in. It's seamed right there. And seamed over on this corner right here. Other than that, it looks like everything came together really nice. The egg is in. Pizza oven still uh, yet to be ordered and installed up there.
looks like everything came out well. Hot tubs in. Looks like put some heat mats in there. Looks like music in the winter. And the pavilion will go in at a later date. And remember, we put footers here underneath the pavement. So those can be easily tapped into, but the uh, structure is already there, the foundation for the pavilion. We do have the overhang here for the bar stools. Looks good. On to the next one.